Hi guys! Today we will discuss the type of sugar used in baking. There are many types of sugar, but the 8 most common ones used in baking recipes for cookies, muffins, and cakes are as follows. Granulated sugar The table sugar that most of us are used to baking with the white, tiny uniform crystals that come in a large bag. It's highly refined and intended to be used for a variety of purposes. Mostly, it's made from sugar cane and sugar beets. It provides a very clean sweetness. The size of the sugar crystals makes it perfect for aerating batters and dough during the creaming process, creating light and tender crumbs. Granulated sugar also helps cookies spread, adds a more crisp texture to cookies, and surface cracking due to crystallization, which can be desirable depending on the type. The amount of granulated sugar in a recipe and the presence of other sweeteners will determine the degree of texture, taste, and color changes. Superfine Sugar Also known as castor sugar, is granulated sugar processed to make smaller crystals. You can make your own by using a food processor to break down granulated sugar for a few seconds until a finer texture is achieved. It's used to produce light and tender cakes. Powdered sugar Also known as confectioner's sugar, is granulated sugar ground into a light and airy, fine powder through different sized sieves. The most common and finest in size is 10x powdered sugar. Cornstarch is added at around 3%, to prevent clumping because sugar is very hygroscopic. It's ideal for dusting, icing, frosting and other decorating as it easily dissolves in liquid to create a thick, spreadable substance. It can be used in cakes and cookies to give a more dense texture. You cannot substitute powdered sugar for granulated sugar in baking because it behaves differently when mixed, air it's less in batters and doughs, and the cornstarch may affect the texture. Brown Sugar It is refined sugar that has varying degrees of molasses, the uncrystallized byproduct of sugar refining, added back to it. It's sold as light brown sugar or golden, about 3.5% molasses, and dark brown sugar, approximately 6.5% molasses. It adds caramel flavor notes and golden brown colors to cookies, cakes, and muffins. Brown sugar contains more moisture and binds water, which is added to recipes to achieve specific characteristics like chewiness in cookies and keeping quick bread tender over more extended periods of time. It can be substituted for granulated sugar one to one by weight in recipes, however, it will look and taste slightly different. If you are enjoying this video, please subscribe, like and hit the bell button so you will be notified once a new video is released. Now back to the video. Coconut Sugar Like coconut milk, water and oil, coconut palm sugar has become a popular sweetening alternative. It's made from the sap of a coconut palm tree, creating an unrefined granular sweetener. Overall, it's considered as being a little healthier than cane sugar as the conversion process retains more nutrients, including a fiber called inulin, which slows the absorption of sugar into the bloodstream. This allows for a lower glycemic index relative to some other sugars. The calorie content is the same as granulated sugar at about 4 calories per gram. It can be used as a direct replacement for white sugar. However, its dark brown color and caramel, nutty and earthy flavor make a taste impact on baked goods. It can be used in cakes, cookies, pie crusts and muffins. Molasses This extremely dark and thick syrup is a byproduct of sugarcane refining and has a strong caramel and cooked flavor. It comes in three forms, light and mild, dark and robust, and black strap. You will also notice on the label unsulfured or sulfur designations. The unsulfured molasses is lighter in color and more mild flavor, made from pure cane syrup. Sulfured molasses is also available which has a darker color and bitter taste. It's best to use light or dark molasses because the black strap can give a strong bitter flavor to the baked good. It is particularly popular in cookies like ginger snap and gingerbread.
A popular sweetening alternative created by honeybees is sucrose that has been enzymatically converted into invert sugar, honey, composed of fructose and glucose. Because fructose is about 1.5 times sweeter than sucrose, its presence in honey makes it slightly sweeter than sugar. Start by using half to two-thirds cups of honey for every one cup of sugar. Since the flower, season, and ripening time of the nectar varies, so can the taste and color. Honey is unique because it never spoils, therefore it can be stored at room temperature. It's very hygroscopic and loves to pick up moisture. It helps keep cakes and muffins moist and tender. Since it contains 20% water, reduce the amount of liquid added, about 1 quarter cup liquid to every 1 cup of honey. The fructose in honey also aids in increased browning, yielding delicious golden cakes, muffins, and cookies. However baking temperature may need to be lowered to prevent overbrowning, about 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Make sure to check that the recipe has baking soda, if not make sure to add 1 quarter teaspoon for 1 cup of honey used to help neutralize the acid in the honey for proper leavening. Pure Maple Syrup Made from the sap of sugar maple trees that have been boiled down but not further processed, leaving more minerals like potassium, calcium, copper, and sodium. The sweet amber to brown syrup has a distinctive rich caramel flavor. It's more expensive than other sweeteners but worth the investment. The high amount of moisture makes it susceptible to spoilage once opened and left at room temperature. Store in the refrigerator for 6 to 12 months. Make sure to skip the pancake syrups, as they are made with corn syrup and added flavors, nothing like the real thing. To use in baking, substitute 2 thirds cup maple syrup for granulated sugar. It also contains water so reduce the total liquid input by 20 to 25 percent, about 1 quarter cup per 1 cup of liquid. Reduce the oven temperature by 25 degrees Fahrenheit to prevent overbrowning. It can replace honey, molasses and corn syrup as a one-to-one -one substitution. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe for more content.